Welcome to NYNJPA Weather, your weather source for the Northern Man Atlantic. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. This is our surface map as of 11 a.m. this morning, and as you can see, high pressure is taking control from the Ohio River Valley all the way to the northeast and mid Atlantic coast. High pressure will continue to produce clear skies and winds around the northwest from, from around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Now, it's important that these winds are from the northwest because that means they're coming off of the Appalachian Mountains. Now, when the winds move off of the Appalachian Mountains, that means that they're sinking. This is called downsloping winds, and as a result, temperatures are going to be able to warm into the mid-60s for many locations this afternoon. So clearly, we are looking at a very enjoyable day of weather, far better than what we've been dealing with the past few days. Unfortunately, this is not going to last very long as our high pressure system moves to the New England coast and that means winds are going to shift from the east and you know what that means. With the high pressure system off of the New England coast, that means an easterly wind is going to drive in a marine air mass into the northern Atlantic. Now, a warm front will be approaching from the southwest on Friday evening. And uh, this is the European model guidance from the Penn City wall showing that this warm front is slowly moving to the north and east. However, because of our high pressure system, that warm front is going to be delayed a bit. So what we can expect for tomorrow is increasing clouds with a chance of showers more towards the late evening and overnight hours. This warm front is going to attempt to move north but it's going to stall over the northern Atlantic for much of Saturday. But I don't think we're looking at a complete washout. Rather, what we should see is some periods of rainfall on Saturday morning, followed by a more scattered nature in the showers with broken clouds. If you're to the south of this warm front, which I think most of the Philadelphia metropolitan area and the southern two-thirds of New Jersey will be, then you're looking at temperatures in the mid-60s and overall not, not a bad weekend whatsoever. However, unfortunately for the New York City metropolitan area, at least for Saturday, you're going to be stuck in that northeasterly flow, which means temperatures are going to be stuck in the 50s, and you're going to be at the constant threat of showers moving through. Again, not a complete washout, but certainly a constant threat throughout the day. The 500 millibar pattern by Sunday evening clearly shows our southeast ridge starting to take hold and build up through the northern mid-Atlantic. Unfortunately, it's not going to have an easy fight, with our polar vortex starting to drop south once again through the Hudson Bay. Now, what we're setting up here is another progressive Pacific pattern. Notice that our trough in the west is followed by yet another disturbance a little bit off over the Pacific, and we have these disturbances diving south through the southern plains and shooting off towards the northern Atlantic. Unfortunately, this is going to produce another round of severe weather for everyone from the southern plains to the southeast coast, but it's also going to mean that our weather pattern in the northern Atlantic is going to remain active with these disturbances moving through. But there is some good news in this whole setup. As you can see at 850 millibars, we are on the warm side of this boundary. This red line that's cutting through northern Pennsylvania and towards the Hudson River Valley, that's 10 degrees Celsius. And below that 10 degrees Celsius are temperatures anywhere from 12 to 16 degrees Celsius. What does this all mean at 850 millibars? Well, when you bring these temperatures down to the surface, you end up with highs in the 70s. So yes, there will be a threat of showers each day for Saturday and Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, but the good news is that we're going to be on the warm side of this boundary. So when you don't have the showers and thunderstorms, and a few of these thunderstorms could be severe, you at least will have the benefit of being in the 70s with a little bit of breaks of sun so you'll get a break from the rainfall and you'll trade that in with rather nice conditions with temperatures in the 70s relative moderate humidity but not too bad and some sun as for the 500 millibar pattern for the rest of next week well as you can see we have several disturbances coming in from the pacific we have one all the way out in the pacific by the aleutian islands we have another one entering the west coast and then we have our third one that is going to be approaching the Hudson Valley and the Ohio Valley, should I say. Now, the thing to point out here is that we're dealing with a very progressive pattern, but we're dealing with a warm pattern. This is all Pacific air. When Pacific air moderates, it warms significantly. As far as the northern Atlantic, 
We have an upper level low around Greenland. This is a positive NAO pattern. This is a progressive pattern in the northern latitudes with all the cold air trapped up in Canada where it belongs this time of year. So we're dealing with a very moderate, moderated Pacific air mass that warms easily behind these areas of low pressure. And at the surface by Wednesday evening, you see one area low pressure moving up towards the St. Lawrence River Valley. We again remain on the warm side of this entire pattern. So when it isn't raining, you'll be in the 70s for highs, which isn't all that bad at all. And when there is a chance for showers and thunderstorms, a few of these thunderstorms could be rather severe with the threat of very strong wind gusts and possibly even some hail. We'll have to keep an eye on each one of these disturbances that moves through. But the key point here is that the storm track is going to shift north, is going to remain to the north and west of the New York City and Philadelphia metropolitan area. And that means we are going to remain on the warm side of this storm track. And as you can see, for the end of this week, the 500 millibar pattern shows the same type of setup. A very progressive pattern, a ridge sustained over the southeast, which means we stay on the warm side of this storm track, but we remain very active with a chance of showers and thunderstorms almost every other day. When a cold front moves through, you might get a day of high pressure like we have today, and then we go back into an active pattern once again with the showers and temperatures in the 70s and 60s. At 850 millibars, again, this is the mid-levels. Temperatures are, again, very warm, above 10 degrees Celsius, which means the northern mid-Atlantic is going to be in a very nice warm pattern. Still active, like I've been saying, but still temperatures in the 70s for highs is far better than temperatures in the lower 50s. Now, to recap for this weekend, active, yes, there will be a threat of showers. Best chance for rain will be on Saturday morning as that warm front attempts to move through and we get that first real slug of moisture trying to drive through. After that, the showers are more scattered in nature. If you are to the south of that warm front on Saturday, you'll be in the 60s. If you're to the north of the warm front, you'll be in the 50s. Unfortunately, that's pretty much New York City. Now, for Sunday, for many who are celebrating Easter, it's a very important day, you'll have temperatures in the 60s for highs throughout the entire region as the warm front moves north. There will still be a threat for some showers, but they'll be more widely scattered. A cold front will try to approach and stall on Monday, but it won't make it. Again, a threat of showers and thunderstorms throughout the region, but we stay on the warm side of that boundary, which means temperatures stay in the 60s and 70s. And the rest of next week looks very warm with highs in the mid to lower to mid 70s and a threat of showers and thunderstorms each day. So overall, not too bad. If you dodge the showers and thunderstorms, you get to deal with the 70s. Thank you for trusting in NYNJPA Weather as your weather source for the northern mid-Atlantic. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Have a great day.